Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. For this video, I'm going to open up another monthly subscription from Check Beats Exclusive, also known as Craftica. In case you're interested in this box, I will have a link for it down there below in the description bar, and I'm also going to have individual links to materials I get in this box in case you just want a few things, but not everything in the box. Okay, so let's see what's the theme going to be. This box has been hard to open lately. I feel like I need a knife to pry it or something. It's like really strong. Okay, let's figure it out. The theme is taking all the bags out. Getting ready for summer. Oh my gosh. This is May's box. This is gonna be crazy, y'all. Oh, look at the picture of the wine flowers and palm trees. There's gonna be 26 items in here. Okay, there it is. The paper. Right? Let's see. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> flowers. Look at the flowers. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's trilobites. More flowers. More trilobites. Uh, shapes I've never seen before. Daggers. More flowers. Wine flowers. Lilies. Good grief. Okay. Too much peeking. Um, this bead here makes me think of a seed pod or a bean or no the Pez dispenser thing where you flip the the head and the top and you get the candy out the candy's like terrible right but the little Pez dispensers are cute I haven't seen those in years I wonder if they're still selling them these are red I've got these in turquoise it looks really awesome in red too I love it with the bronze very gorgeous the cute very nice beads okay and then we have flowers these are nice I like these I don't see these ones here very often they're transparent and because they're transparent I feel like it doesn't pop as easily like when you see a bead like this in opaque, like from a distance, right, like squint your eyes, you can't really tell what it is. But um, if they had wash on it, it would totally stand out as a flower. And you know what I've done before? I've done it with uh, check glass buttons. I've taken gold paint. You can use nail polish or you can use acrylic paint. And you get a brush and, was it called stippling, where you go up and down and you're like pouncing into the... the the bead or the button whatever you're trying to bring the detail out you can even do this with metal and um you do that on here and then you wait a little bit like i don't know maybe 10 seconds 15 seconds and then you just wipe the surface off and all the paint will hide in the details and it is so gorgeous but i have done that myself to get a look like that okay so those are nice and i like that they gave us six instead of like two Okay, and these here are my favorites. Oh my gosh, these are so cool. I've never seen them like that before. It's clear and opaque yellow, and I think it's bronze. Wash. I'm trying to get a bag open. Wow, and there's so many. So I said in the book, the uh, Bohem style, there was uh, flowers in there. I just opened that. Um, I've bought these, the tiny ones, and I paid, I think it was like almost $10 for a strand of tiny little, not at this place, okay, this was another online store, but it was a color that I've never seen before, it was like periwinkle, and it had purple in the details, and um, it was just a short little strand, it was probably the same amount here, maybe less, and um, yeah. I, I am very surprised that we got so much because they are very expensive. But now I, I totally want to go buy more of these. Those are so cool. I didn't see these on there because it wasn't too long ago. I bought a whole bunch of flower beads through them. Those are awesome. Okay. And then we have three millimeter check fire polish beads in copper, and this is the you know regular copper. There's also a 
dark copper, which I love the most. I think it's the prettiest one. It's fitter than the Aztec gold to me. And it seems to stay the same. I have to say, Aztec gold, this colors. I don't know if this one does. It might because it's bright. But the Aztec gold one does turn uh, darker, like it's aging. You know what I'm saying? Like an age bronze color. But um, I don't know about this one. Yeah, so if you uh, use the Aztec gold beads, they, they make them in so many different beads. Make sure after you make it that you store it into a baggie because it will discolor from the air over time. We have more 3mm check fire polish beads and this is copper. Uh, half copper is what that would be called. These are really nice open bag. Um, excuse my nails. I need to do them really bad and I just have not had the time. There they are. Man, they are sparkly. Extremely sparkly. Especially with the copper. These are gorgeous. Almost looks like spinel because it's so sparkly. And I kind of wonder if that's a full uh, 50 count strand there. Could be a little less. Okay. And uh, was that bronze or gold? I think it's bronze. And then we have opaque white 6mm check fire polish beads. I think I only have a few of these in my stash. They are nice to have. You know what I did? I bought a whole bunch of white drugs. See, some people think that I can't open the bags because my nails are too long. That is not true. I struggle more with short nails, to be honest. I'm used to having longer nails. Right? You just adapt to having things. Those are nice. Okay, so what I was trying to say was about a whole bunch of white check drugs from a snowman that I made. I made several of them back in the day. So, yeah, those are awesome too. They're faceted. Put that there. And then. Oh my gosh. Um, I guess this would be um, dark bronze. This is gorgeous. This is just as pretty as the. Um, the, the antique copper, the dark copper one that I was talking about earlier. That is gorgeous, man. It's chocolatey. So pretty. Okay. So, I gotta show you this. Oh, these would be really nice with flowers. Look at that color. That is fantastic, man. I love that. Beautiful. Okay, I don't usually like opening these small ones because I always drop the beads. But everybody wants me to open all the bags. Even though it takes extra long time, the video is extra long, editing takes more time. I just want everybody to be happy. This is teardrops. This is not the smallest one, but it's like the one up. Actually, the smallest teardrop is the Miyuki drops, right? But those are more for like stitching projects. These here you can use in stringing. Um, you can use the other ones in stringing too, but you mostly see the Miyuki drops in stitching projects. But this is like the uh, second biggest drop and I love the, especially in flowers, on the top of the flowers I make, the 3D flowers because they're little, right? Just part of the layers of the petals that I use. This is gorgeous. This is called Jet Bronze, and it's because it's a dark bronze. When you see the bronze that's brighter, then it would just be called bronze, but this has black underneath of it, and it's permanent, I believe. I've never seen this come off, but that color there, it's really dark, is called Jet Bronze. Okay, and we have daggers, and they're gorgeous Picasso. Look at how pretty. I like all of them. Turquoise is my fave, but I really love red Picasso, green Picasso, 
black one's awesome too. Come on, get out of the bag. Aren't they pretty? So there's the green one, also called avocado green. Then there's the red Picasso and the turquoise. And that one is a dark blue. And the orange is, the orange Picasso is another favorite that I love. That's orange there. But that one's really hard to find. It is hard to find orange Picasso. Another one that's hard to find is purple Picasso. And yellow. And there's not even yellow in this bag. That is not the yellow one, by the way. That bead's actually white. And it has Picasso on it. Okay. So, awesomeness. Mold flowers. Oh my gosh. So, this is the same one that I just got in the Bohem Style Box. And there's also a red one in there. And a, a, a green one. They were all opaque. They're so cute. These are Hawaiian flowers. I think it's a 10 millimeter size. Beautiful. And again, I will have links for all of these beads you see here in the description in case you want to buy them. These are pretty too. This is a Czech teardrop. This bead is kind of strange. It's kind of like a uh, cathedral bead because the top of it's faceted. The pointed side, but the rounded side is not faceted at all. They left that round. So it's, it's kind of like that to me. So see, see here the facets on the pointed side, right? But the the round side, they didn't facet that at all. They just left that completely round. Those are pretty color, huh? It's like marbled bronze. Nice. There's a lot of stuff in this box, man. It is loaded. This is an oval shape. I think I might have used this before in a hair barrette. Or maybe I just used the square table cut check glass beads. This is table cut too. Oh, I have this, uh, this exact shape in turquoise. But I think mine has travertine. This one's Picasso. Yeah, those are cool. Man, this is kind of matching the Bohem style box I just opened. The theme? What is this? I can't tell. I gotta open it. It's a charm, of course. But I can't tell what it's a charm of. Oh my gosh, it's double sided. Yes, both sides. Okay, now what is it? I think it's just a really fancy pattern. They are uh, weighted, like they have heaviness to them, they're solid. This would look so cute in gold. It's kind of hard to see it, isn't it? I think it's just a fancy design. Like a floral pattern. Yeah, there's like flowers on it. Okay, those are cool. Ah, oh, short nails. Can't do anything with short nails. It's terrible. Okay. And then... This year, what was this? A Starburst, I think? Something burst. Starburst. Oh my gosh. Um, this is a really strange color. It kind of almost looks like it's copper. Like right when you, your copper starts to get darker, so it looks like it's not gold. I have these in gold, and um, is that gold? No, I thought I saw gold bead compared to. But those have like a copper look. It's not bronze. It's very unique. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I don't know what it looks like in the camera, but it, it, it is uh, different. Pretty though, very pretty. You know what? I'm going to put up to the light. The bead is not transparent. It is black. Maybe it's a copper over black. Because I said earlier, you know, that this here bead is actually black. And they put, they like it's like a plating. They put the bronze over it and it has this really dark chocolate color. So maybe 
they took copper and put it over black. Yeah, this is a uh, copper over black and this check fire polish bead. Yeah, I think that's what they did. Okay, so uh, those are awesome. So I think that's what's going on there. And then, so many things. I love these little flowers, lilies. They're very cute. Oh, those are pretty. This bead, I think, is white. And then they have this, like, bronzy gold wash over top. It's nice. It looks amazing with those. Look at those together. Yeah, I like that. Okay, more. Now this is copper, and this bead, is this bead, uh, I gotta see, I can't tell in the back. I was trying to see if it was transparent. Sometimes I do clear. It looks red. It's red. Okay, it is transparent. But it, I swear there's red in it, too. Yeah, it looks like it's clear with red, like, glass marble through it. And then they have the copper on it, and it's matted. So, that's interesting. You can tell if you look, see it looks reddish there, right? When you move it around, you'll see clear in other places. Strange. I wonder if they ever do that. If they ever make a bead and are not happy with the look of it, I wonder if they, because you know, they make the glass, and then they do all these treatments to it to make it look different. I wonder if they're like, oh, that's an ugly bead. Let's um, put some plating on it or wash it. We'll put some wash on it. We'll mat it. Try to make it look better. <laughs> I wonder if that ever happens. Because that's stuff that, you know, I've experienced when making jewelry. Especially working with resin or even to doing nails. I'm not happy with something and I'll do something like that to alter it. Like I put nail polish on before, wasn't happy with the color. So I put a glitter over top of it. Made it so much better. These are cool. These look like little uh, shells or nuggets. Like a gemstone nugget or a shell. I've never seen that shape. It reminds me more of Shell. Okay. And then, oh my gosh. These are English cuts. Black English cuts. And they have copper on top of them. Man, there's a lot in this box. This box is loaded. So much. Those are cool. I like English cuts. They're very rustic. It's a rustic looking bead. It's rough looking. See that? They're neat. I do have, um, not all English cuts are like this though. I do have some English cuts that are smooth and shiny. They're not rough. Okay. Oh, I like these. This is metal spacer beads. They have blue patina on them. And from this side, it's shaped like a flower. Pretty neat. Look at those. They are cool. Oh my gosh, I know what I'm going to do with these. I'm going to use them in my Creative Dreams bracelets as spice of beads. I think I used eight or ten of them. Looks like there's eight there. I'll have to see if that's enough. Okay, and then I need a drink. My throat is getting sore from talking so much. Um, we have these Czech shell beads. These are so cool. I've got these before. They come in different colors. Um, I made a necklace with them.
Um, this snail in real life is on the sandbars where I live in Florida. And whenever you walk on the sandbar, they come up out of the sand like little zombies. I like to call them zombie snails. And they eat the debris that you stir up. So, they're really cool. And they're actually this color too when I find them. Sometimes they might have algae on them. But they're really neat. And I think they did an amazing job making these beads. Because it looks a lot like the real snail. Okay. Wow. I love these. This is the uh, beige color. It looks a little darker. I know there's dark beige now. Could be dark beige. Looks like it has a copper wash. But it's uh, Picasso with the copper on top. See? Do you see the copper and the little cracks? Right? Turn it over. There's the Picasso. That one I really see the copper on. They are nice. This side here you can see really good. I love those. I want to buy more of those. I'll have to put these in my shopping cart for next Christmas when I get my coupons. This is neat. It looks like a rock. It's acid washed. Yeah. It's a big nugget. Big bead. It's probably a dollar for this bead because it's so big. Okay. And then. More and more. There's some more. We got petal beads. I love these. There's a nice amount in here. I bought a bunch of these a while back when I was making uh, 3D flowers. Because I was using so many different layers and different teardrops and petals and leaves to make my flowers. I don't know if I have this one. I might. But those are nice. And recently I found out that they actually come smaller than this. Because I got them. Um, I bought something. And there were some small ones in it. And these are actually called petal beads. Okay. So... Awesome. And then the trilobites. I love this color. It's red with that bronze looking marble on it. Same as this. And these are the ones that I used in my uh, Crave Dreams bracelet. I love that bracelet so much. It was so simple and easy but very creative and so many options like everybody has beads in their stash to make something like that okay I just love it using check beads and then we have two more flowers these are really pretty I'll have to put these in my cart too I'm trying to figure out is that a purple on it it's not a wash I don't know it's almost like a plating See that? It kind of looks bronze. Those are gorgeous. Very pretty. Okay. And now we have more trilobites. This one's gold. I think. No, maybe it's the same. Maybe it's bronze. Okay, I gotta get into this baggie. They are gorgeous. I want to know if uh, there's a Czech scarab bead. I know that Swarovski has scarabs. I bought two of them. Crystal scarabs. But like these trilobites, they're so awesome. I bet a scarab would be really awesome in Czech glass. And I'm trying to get my hands on Czech glass turtles. Those are hard to find. I think they're like an inch long. They're big. But they're really cool. And I love turtles. My favorite animal. And dogs. Turtles and dogs. Okay. So those are really awesome. So this is it. Man, what a box. This this uh, box here. 
the stuff in it, the contents are kind of like the same theme, similar to the Bohem Style box. So I'm really excited about this. There are some really nice beads here. So this is it. I hope you enjoy the box opening. Remember, I will have a link for this box down there below in the description bar. But if you don't want all of this stuff in here, maybe you only want a few things for something you're making for yourself, um, I will put links to all of this down there so you'll see all the trilobites and stuff. Now sometimes I won't be able to find something that happens. I'll put the code in, it takes me to something else, and so I'll, I'll do a search around, I'll hunt for it, trying to find it on the website, but even then sometimes I still can't find it. But I will do my best to try and find everything and post it down below. Alright? So this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos, and make sure you click the bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos and follow me in my social media sites. I'm on Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.